Hello and welcome to Pound of the Geek. So you join us for an unboxing of the Simon Scarrow Macro and Kato Under the Eagle uh, box set from Warlord Games. This is a birthday present from Paul. Yay! Um, because I read um, Simon Scarrow's uh, books about Macro and Kato. Yeah. Um, I think I only got up to um, The Eagle in the Sand, which is mm. the one before this uh, <coughs> bit of free book that's inside. So, yes, so yeah. I was browsing the Wall of Games website because uh, we, we were starting to get into belt action and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So you might see some belt action videos in the future. Um, and maybe even some of the uh, Hail Caesar videos because I also bought Claire, Claire a pair of, a pair? A pair? No. A pair of things, that and that. So, uh, for a birthday. Yeah. So we've yet to put those together as well. Mm -hmm. But that might be a different video if we do it. Um, but this is the special edition, like you said, the Simon Scroll one. Yeah. So she wanted to do a... Um, yeah, I wanted to do an unboxing yeah. for it. So I'll leave the rest of this video to her. Thanks very much. <laughs> so we'll get this unboxed and see what's in it. So for those of you that don't know, um, the, the books are based in, obviously, ancient Rome around the time of uh, Claudius, the Emperor Claudius, and Vespasian, who's at the time a legatus in the army. Uh, Macro is a centurion, and Cato becomes a centurion in the first book. And they're really, really well worth reading the books. So, throwing things around. So there's a bit of a sampler of the, the new book. Well, it's not that new now because there's other ones before, well, after this. But I haven't read that one, so I'll have a look at that. And there we have the models. Very cool. So I'll get this opened up and then we'll get them out and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so I've uh, managed to rip open the box <laughs> that it was in. Um, and these are the metal models that are in there. So this will be macro. Um, with the, sorry, won't even arm the camera, <laughs> it might help. So uh, that's Macro, the Centurion, and then we have Cato, who's the uh, Optio at the time, which is like uh, Macro's deputy, if you yeah. will, second in command, because it's only at the end of the book he becomes a Centurion. So there's a little name plaque on that, Oh, that's cool! <laughs> and a dead so, Roman on it. So it's resin. Uh, well, just needs that bit of coin off. Mm -hmm. And a dead Roman, and then we've got a little uh, dot so. Is that for the fence? Which is for the fence to go. Ah. That's a little bit of fence. Cool. To go at the back of the little diorama. Cool. We also get little heads, uh, alternate heads. So you get mm -hmm. a head with helmet and no helmet. That's uh, macro. And then one for Cato. It's Kato's. So alternate helmets, cool. Alternate helmets. And there's a shield as well. And a shield, it? which I would assume is Macro's. Yeah, because yeah. he always got his hand. So, yeah, they look really cool. So these need some standard sort of metal cleanups, mm -hmm. uh, and then we need to clean up resin. We've got actually a game of workshop base here, a spare base. It's a bit big, maybe. But then again, if it's a diorama, that will fit in there quite nicely, actually. Yeah. With some like a border around it as well. Mm -hmm. That's quite good. Okay, we'll yeah. use that. Cool. All right, so we're literally just going to stick this together. Yep. And I'm then, sure you what it looks like when it's finished. Yeah, and then <laughs> hopefully once I've painted it, I'll uh, show it off on camera. Yeah, that's when great. it's painted. Uh, yeah, because literally we're just going to clean it up, put heads on. Uh, they'll fit into those slots. We'll not glue them in. No, I so uh, I can use them separately with yeah, my uh, Hail Caesar armor. Try and magnetize them. Cool, so okay. we'll do that we'll be back in a second. So uh, here are the uh, finished models, yep. all on the base and everything, and all cleaned up. Yep, and if uh, you uh, pick them up individually, you should be able to, hopefully. Yeah. See that they're magnetised. I've put uh, magnets on the bottom mm -hmm. and into the base. Cool. Thankfully, they fit on pretty well. Yeah, they do actually, don't they? Yeah. They're really cool, then. I like them. Yep. Awesome. So this will be a really special addition to my little collection that I've got. Yep. So, um, yeah, so I've just had a look in the, what you get with it, the uh, free uh, chapter sample. Yeah. Um, you get a signed 
signed it as well. Yes. So individually yeah, signed. Individually signed. And there's a bit of bonus material at the back about the um, characters as well. Yeah. So. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know about Macro and Kate, are you going to read that out? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, um, so we've got. Uh, sorry. Make sure I don't get blinded by the light. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Like that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So we've got uh, Lucius Cornelius Macro. Mm -hmm. Somewhat shorter than most of his comrades, Macro is thick set and powerfully built. He keeps his curly dark hair close cut, which sometimes reveals the knotted scar in his scalp that he received at the hands of a druid while on campaign in Britain. Having made most of the training offered to him by the army, Macro is an instinctive fighter with speedy reactions. Coupled with ferocity and fearlessness, courage is not an is even an issue for him. Macro is inclined to take a straightforward view of life. He is a soldier who goes where he's told and carries out his orders, regardless of anything else. Macro was born in the port of Ostia during the last years of the reign of the first emperor Augustus. Macro's father, Amatus, owned a, f a fishing boat and worked out of the port until his wife abandoned him and their infant son ran off with them. Sorry, until his wife abandoned him and the infant son ran off with a marine. Heartbroken, Amatus left Ostia for Rome and set up a business in a small tavern on the Avertine Hill. There his son grew up working alongside his father in the tavern from an early age. Many of the regular customers were soldiers from the Praetorian Guard, veterans of the Roman legions. From them, Macro heard many exciting tales under the eagles and felt a spark of ambition to join the army. At 15, Macro's life changed completely, following the murder of his uncle Sextus on the orders of a Roman crime lord. Macro decided to take his revenge. After some months of training under a retired gladiator, Macro killed the crime lord and his bodyguard. As a consequence, he was forced to flee from Rome and travelled to the northern frontier of the empire, where he enlisted in the Second Legion. Being fit, being fit and a proven fighter, Macro took to soldiering and served several years in the ranks before being promoted to Optio. In the first year of the reign of Emperor Claudius, he was admitted to the august ranks of the uh, Centurionate, the elite band of officers who each command a century of legionaries. Sadly for Macro, his reading and writing skills were minimal at the time and he was forced to let his shifty clerk take charge of most of the records of his unit. This state of affairs continued until new optio, Cato, was assigned to Macro's century. While Cato taught Macro how to read and write, Macro taught Cato how to be a good soldier and second in command of Macro's century. Having seen active service in a few detached postings, Macro and his legion joined the forces sent to invade the island of Britannia and bring in its fierce warriors under the Roman yoke. After the, the defeat of Caractacus, Macro served in various roles, once rescuing the captured wife and child of the commander of the Roman forces in Britain, and on another occasion raising a tribal army for an ally of Rome. After the death of the commander of his cohort in suspicious circumstances, Macro, together with Cato, was ordered to return to Rome, while the matter was investigated. Since then, the pair have formed a valuable service for Narcissus, the chief of the Emperor Claudius's spy network. In addition to a secondment to the Imperial fleet to help crush a pirate threat, Macro and Cato have fought the re rebels in Judea and countered a Parthian invasion of Pal Palmyra. There you go. So there you go. That's it's a brief history of uh, Macro and Cato. Macro and Cato, <laughs> yeah. They're good books, actually. They are very good The only good one I've read is Under the Eagle, and I really enjoyed it, um, which is obviously where this is taken from. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if we do collect, I think Claire's definitely bagsied the Romans. Yeah. <laughs> so I might have to collect the British, mm -hmm. you know, because <laughs> that's where th they were fighting originally, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Um, Under the Eagle is based in, in Britain, Britain yeah. and um, I think at the time uh, Vespasian is the legatus who takes him over there, so he's like the main commander. The Vespasian. The Vespasian, yeah, yeah, yeah. but later becomes emperor. Cool. Yeah, after Claudius. Yeah, so there we go. Awesome. So, very cool miniatures. Mm -hmm. uh, a nice little diorama, I like that. Uh, pretty easy to put magnets in, so they can be put into a unit. And a nice little story for Claire there. To, yeah. To read. <laughs> Cool. So you're going to wait and read the Gladiator now? Yes, hopefully. Book, I have, so I've, I've actually got the book. I yes. just haven't read it, no. Yeah. Cool. 
So thanks for watching. Uh, please join us again for uh, anything else we do on the channel. Yep. Obviously we've got Tale 2 Gamers, for Age of Sigma. Uh, we've got a uh, board game coming up, Scythe, so stay mm -hmm. tuned for that. And obviously Bolt Action was mentioned in this video. It's the first mm -hmm. time I've mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that in the future. It's, it's not imminent, but it, there will be some of that in the future. We'll mm -hmm. be making some terrain for that. And uh, maybe even some hail Caesar. Who mm -hmm. knows? Stay yeah. tuned then. Yep. So please like and subscribe. It helps out loads. And hopefully we'll see you, see you again soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.